Hi, I'm Jan Ozer. This is the second of two tutorials demonstrating how to create a broadcast quality live event with the new Tech TriCaster TC40, which was provided by this video sponsor, VideoGuys.com. In the first tutorial, you learned how to select and configure the inputs. In this tutorial, you learn how to mix and stream the show itself. The webinar I'm producing includes the following elements full screen video, picture in picture video, PowerPoint slides from a separate computer, full screen and lower third graphics, disc based videos, pre and post show advertising and credits, transitions for all elements, and of course, audio. In this tutorial, we'll cover a few more interface elements and then run the show. During the show, I'll switch between three primary elements, the full screen video in video one, the picture in picture video in virtual input one, and the PowerPoint video in network input one. I can switch via direct cuts by clicking the input in the program row, or by using the appropriate keyboard shortcut or key on the control surface. I can insert transitions between the inputs by selecting the target input in the preview row and pressing either take or auto or dragging the T-bar. I select my transition and transition duration in this row with BKGD standing for background. More on that in a moment. I set transition duration with this menu or by dragging this number to the desired duration. I can choose any transition in this row or search for others here. I use mostly fast fades in my events, but if you want a more distinctive look, you've got lots and lots of options. Once selected, you access any customization options here. Okay, back to this background layer. This contains the inputs configured over here. On top of these layers, you have three downstream keys, or DSKs, which you can use to superimpose any of the 14 inputs over the background videos. For example, Graphics Input 2 has the lower third title. I can insert that over the full screen video by choosing Graphics Input 2 in DSK 1 and clicking Take or Auto. I can choose the transition and transition duration for that title with these controls. To remove the title, I just click Take or Auto again. I can also load a separate overlay in DSK2, but I don't need that for this video. The third downstream key is FTB, or Fade to Black, which I access here at the end of the show. Now we know all the production basics, let's set up our streaming target. You can transmit via these connection types to any of these pre-configured targets, or you can configure your own target. You can also record a stream to disk using any of these inputs. To produce the live event, I've created a script that includes both how the various controls should be configured before the event and how I'll switch them during the event. Here's how it'll work. Pre-show, I want the full screen title running with DDR queued to intro in preview. I want the lower third title ready in DSK1. I'll press stream to start streaming 15 minutes before the show to make sure that's going smoothly. A minute before the show, I'll press record to start the archive function. To start the show, I'll press auto to transition to the introductory advertisement in the DDR. Then I'll set full to preview so the full screen video will transition in once the short advertisement is complete. While talking, I'll transition in the title, then remove it once done. Once the intro is done, I'll transition to virtual input 1 for the PIP discussion. If I'm talking and producing, I'll click over directly since it's one click instead of two. Then over to PPT for the bulk of the presentation, where I won't be on screen. During this short break, I'll load the ending playlist into the DDR. Once the presentation is complete, I'll transition back to full screen to take any questions, and place DDR in the preview. Once I'm done answering questions, I'll transition to the DDR for credits.
Then press FTB or Fade to Black to end the presentation. Obviously, it's simpler if you have a producer running the show separately, and the advertisements and credits that I used could certainly be improved. But as a live production tool, the TC40 incorporates all the elements necessary for a broadcast quality presentation in a robust platform that lets you stream live and save a full quality broadcast version. The TC40 has all the required bells and whistles with an interface you can learn in about 15 minutes. If you're looking for a live event production tool, the TC40 should definitely be on the top of your shortlist. For more information about the TC40, contact this video sponsor, videoguys.com, at 1-800-323-2325. I'm Jan Ozer. Thanks for watching. Videoguys.com is your source for streaming media and live production equipment, storage, and video editing hardware and software. We have specialized in video editing and production for more than 25 years. And our technicians are available to answer your questions and help you find the best solution for your needs and budget.